Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist at Google. This latest issue of Interglobix draws attention to the fact that we are in the middle of one of the largest expenditures of capital to improve the infrastructure of the Internet throughout the United States. States are now struggling and, uh, with the challenge of distributing uh, those resources for maximum benefit, especially in the rural parts of the country. We have a training program at the Marconi Society together with the uh, Arizona State University to help train uh, people in digital inclusion, which will assist them in the uh, preparation of that distribution of capital. On top of all that, of course, we have to recognize that the users have to know how to use this technology to best advantage, and for that, uh, additional training is needed. So there's plenty of work to be done in this new decade of digital inclusion. Hi, I'm Christian Velotti, recently retired from Microsoft. In the next chapter of my career, my focus is solving the seemingly impossible to inspire others to think bigger. In my article, Nature Positive Data Centers, I talk about the importance of thinking beyond carbon and focusing on ecosystem health, as well as a proposal on how to measure ecosystem impact. I believe our industry should be the example to other industries to design in harmony with nature, enabling humanity to thrive for the rest of time. Thank you, Jasmine and Interglobix for allowing me the privilege. Hi, I'm Dana Adams, and I recently joined Vantage Data Centers as our president of North America. I'm very excited to be included in the next edition of Interglobix Magazine, where we're discussing a topic that is important to all of us and that we can all relate to, the power constraints that we're facing in our industry. We're in one of the most exciting times in our industry with the advancements of cloud and AI, and solving the power challenge is critical to all of our success. In this article, we're covering power challenges from generation and transmission to distribution and storage, as well as innovative ways to address these challenges. And we explore creative solutions that include investing in renewables, deploying on-site generation, as well as partnering with governments and regulatory bodies. I hope you find the article insightful, and I look forward to working together as an industry to address our power challenges. Collectively, we can continue advancing technology around the world in clean, responsible ways.